and the freshman forward, Aiden Muir. Uh, we'll begin with an opening statement from Coach and then take questions. Well, Miami's, uh, as we do coming in, a very good team. Um, they're a veteran team and uh, very well coached. Came out with a game, good, good game plan and uh, they're just a solid team. We do that. There's no moral victories in sport. Uh, I did like the battle of our team in the third period. Come back under tough circumstances. That was a scenario where I believe there would be a lot of teams just would have walked away from this rink and, and uh, maybe it's a 6 1, 7 2 kind of hockey game. Uh, but I like the resolve of our group and how they competed and battled in the third period. Um, Obviously, discipline is a uh, coach's responsibility. Uh, we took five penalties in a row in the second period. Five penalties in a row in the second period. First penalty on Matt Stewart was uh, a slash and uh, uh, was the right call. Um, second penalty was a high hit by Josh Pitt and was the right call. The third penalty on Will Kessel still haven't seen the penalty, was not the right call. The penalty on Freddie Tiffles taking the puck to the net was not a penalty, clearly not a penalty. The referee was not in a good position to make the call. Freddie Tiffles was shoved by one of their defensemen into their goaltender, it resulted in a minor penalty. The third penalty was contact hockey. It was uh, Neil Goff, one of our bigger defensemen, uh, played a strong one-on-one -on -one scenario, eliminated his man chest high, uh, the way that the pros want us to play. And uh, we're trying to play a professional game at the college level, and, and we need better than what we got tonight from the officials. And um, They have a tough job to do, but this is an important game for our kids, just what, like it was for Miami, and Miami's a great team, and we credit them. We, our responsibility, no matter what goes on, is to kill penalties. We didn't do a good enough job of that. but. Um, to see these kids work as hard as they work and to come in here tonight and get five penalties called on us like that in the second period is a not just. It should not happen in a game like this. Questions, please wait for Michael Levy to go. Yeah, that's what were the conditions like on the ice and did it contribute to sort of the barrage of goals in the third? Um you know, uh, every line was kind of uh, a little deeper than in the white ice just because of the heat, I think, so every time we crush it up, uh, pucks would start bouncing, but we adjusted our game to where just get it deep to where there was better to get to the net. So I guess, yeah, I would say it contributed to some of that success. I just wanted to ask uh, the players, how excited were you uh, to play in an event that happens once a year, and have you ever played in an outside uh, hockey rink? Well, uh, first of all, we played last year in the July. Unbelievable experience at Comerica Park. Uh, came out with two wins there. Great experience, but uh, this is a once-in-a-lifetime chance. Playing at Soldier Field, where the Bears play. Uh, nothing but a great experience, but we came here for one job to get three points, and we didn't do that. To the players as well. <clears throat> What's it like the emotional roller coaster? You know, falling by four goals, coming back, scoring a last minute goal with the you know the goalie pulled, and then still falling short. I mean, it was an up and down game. I mean, things weren't going our way. Obviously, in the second period, where we put ourselves here on the eight goal, uh, we didn't do the proper things in the second period, and that's what led to our uh, downfall, I guess, in the second period. You could say then we finally simplified our game, getting pucks to the net. Contributed, but it wasn't enough. So it's a sour feeling right now. Thank you. 